bienvenido al Craft on Tap. I'm your host, Senior Furioso. What's up, y'all? I'm sorry, I just wanted to start off the show with something a little fun and exciting. Uh, welcome back to Craft on Tap. I'm Nick A. Myers, and this is another beer peer review. And today we're getting back to a New Mexico brewery. So we're from New Mexico, and we love our local breweries. Today we've got La Cumbre Brewing Company. Also, we've got a special guest, and I'll be introducing them in a minute. We had such success uh, a few weeks back uh, with an episode we did with a friend of mine, Keith Breckenridge. We did it live via Skype, and it was phenomenal. We've gotten letters. People have been like hitting us up in droves. So you know what? We are going to feature him again. We've got him on the show to talk about stuff. But before we do, hey, are you sharing with your friends and telling them to please go to craftontapshow.com, which you can find our YouTube, you can find our Instagram. You can probably find some, some things on the dark web about me, but... Joking, joking. But sincerely, we need people to subscribe. We need likes. We need watches. And we would love if you could help us out with that. That's what's going to help push the show beyond. Craft on Tap is all about the community of crafting. And so thank you for all your help. All right, folks, without further ado, we're going to introduce my good friend. Um, he is uh, just, he's an actor. He's a comedian. You've seen him before. He's Mr. Clown himself, Mr. Keith Breckenridge. What's up, my man? Keith? Hey, hey, what's up, Nick? Are you I'm there, sorry. man? Can you hear me? Yes, I'm, I'm sorry about the clown comment. I honestly ah. think that you are one of the more endearing human beings on the planet. Thank you for joining us back on the show, man. It was great to have you. It's great to have you. Guys. Thank you, man. This is huge. It's great. It's a great opportunity. Thanks again, um, um, Craft on Tap, for having me back on. Dude, make sure that all, anybody that follows me at the Keith B Comedy, make sure you go follow everybody at uh, Craft on Tap. Like Craft and subscribe. on Tap Show. Craft on Tap Show. There you go. And the Keith B Comedy. If you love fat comedians, then... No, I'm sorry. That's not cool. Large, You're a uh, chubby large chaser. Crested, hilarious yeah, you like people. funny shit. I'm sorry. I know I looked a little weird with my Zorro hat on. Don't uh, don't clown. Yeah, I, I didn't know if you were like, Sancho, I'm going to steal your beer. Orale. Orale. Well, you know, it's great to have you back. Let's get in on these beers. Let us um, have uh, a little bit of a sample. Again, if you want to learn more about Lacumbre, you can check them out on the web at lacumbrebrewing.com. So we'll start simple, Keith. Are you ready? Yeah, my man. Let's go. Let's go. The first one, it's called beer. All right. Now it's a Pilsner style uh, beer, but it's called beer. Let's crack these open, my man, and um, we will get into the mixture. I've actually already cracked mine and poured, so... Well, I don't know why you're so... So let's go ahead and give us a pour, Keith. Gotcha. Go for it, man. So this one's just going to have a very slight... Just a very slight hint of yellow. It's almost white. It's crystal. It looks champagne or like some bubbly. Nice little frothy head on there. Bubbles are still working. It's actually a work of art. It's very beautiful. Let's, uh, let's smell it now. You know, what I'm smelling is... Um, uh, Floral hints, I'm smelling just the slightest amount of, of maybe juniper in there. I don't know. What are you getting, Keith? What do you what do you got? It's really wheat. I get like a real wheat. Oh. Like this one looks and smells like beer. Like it's like a real beer. That's what it's called. That's how so so ironic, right? Right, right. Cheers, Keith. Salute, sir. Man, that is just so good. It's not, mm. it's just ever so sweet, but not really. It almost tastes a little bit to me, just slightly like a cider, but it has that with Pilsner qualities, a little bitter on the back end on the side of my tongue. Um, I'm a Pilsner drinker. I really like this one. Keith, your thoughts? This one's really tasty. It's very light in the body, but uh, but it has a full taste. I mean, it, it really does. That That's a good beer. Hey, man, salute. Salute, Sancho. Sancho Pancho. Sancho, hey, can you buy me a beer? All right, well, go ahead and go ahead and get started. I'm going to cleanse my palate. If you want to start on the second beer, I know that you, you've got them there with you. You betcha. Second one we got here is really, really cool. And cool. It's a slice of hefeng. That's really cool because it's a hefeweizen. And this one here is really more, it's a traditional Bavarian classic. Um, uh, I, you you, you, Bavar what, you ba say Bavarian? Bavarian? Bavarian classic. Ah, sorry. Right, gotcha. right. You got you all right? Because I am I am in a secret location. I thought you said Hungarian. I was confused. I'm no, I am hung, and I'm, and I'm not Hungarian. No, so this is a great looking uh, can right there. It's really really cool. I mean, that's the best one if, as far as I get as far as artwork. Even though I do like the next one coming up here, which we'll talk about. But this one's a slice of heaven. 
And that's a really cool name. I have to like a little play on words. Um, it's got a lot of aroma. I mean, when you pour it and smell, mm. that's one of the things you really get is a lot of little clove. Like, can you smell the banana? I, some vanilla maybe, or some mm -hmm. cardamom, some like cinnamon. Like, it's got, exactly. you know, it smells like not rotting fruit, but fruit that's being, you know, used to make alcohol. It's got a very fruity formless for sure. I really, and that's, and that's kind of like signature of, of a really good heaven vice. Should we, should we put this in our mouth and try it? I like the way you said that, sir. Let's do it. Oh, wow. That's real crisp. It's clean. It, it doesn't linger too long. And actually, the carbonation hits you right up front. And then it almost has a, not quite a fruit juice aftertaste, but it does leave you with a little bit of that, a little bit of that juicy, subtle semi-sweetness. I think it's really nice. It has a really, like, rich and creamy. Um, it's very dry. However, it's very refreshing on the backside. I love it when it's refreshing on the backside. Right, exactly. Right, oh, yeah. Hey folks, you know what? When you're out there or when you're at home and you're drinking, please make sure you drink responsibly. That's a very important thing we want to impart to all of our viewers here at Craft on Tap. We don't take drinking lightly. I mean, we drink it, we take it heavily, but we don't take the act of doing it lightly. So please, you know, indulge in a responsible way. Um, I don't know, Keith, this was a good one, bro. Any thoughts more on the Heffin? I really, really like this one. It was a real full body and a very summery type of beer to me personally. I can't wait for the barbecues to start popping. This would be one that I would go to. There's nothing like a full body in summer, especially mm. with a little floral hint. A, little a slice of heaven from La Cumbre Brewery. All right, so we got one more beer. Are you excited to indulge? Most definitely. And I think this one's a winner too, man. It's this, got a couple this, uh This is great. Words. So it's the Mal Pais Stout. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a phenomenal, fierce fan of stouts. Are you a fan of darker beers, Keith? Yes, yeah. I, more time, more so in the winter, I find myself drinking this this type of a beer. Well, why? It's like, because it's filling, right? Right, right. No, it, it's almost like a meal sometimes. It's like a meal in a in a bottle or a can. Right. Um, you know, and so originally stout beers, um, you know, they're, they're noted around 1677 in England. And, you know, originally the word stout was just meant to describe the beer as heavy as stout, as, you know, hefty. Uh, it did not have a dark connotation, but it's been, since then taken on that connotation. And so, yeah. Know anything else about this uh, this type of beer, Big Keith? Well, I do know the notes uh, should be grainy and uh, catching hints of anise, uh, molasses, um, chocolate, coffee. Uh, one thing that's different about stouts is it doesn't share the same like hop profile right. as a lot of other beers. Um, like I said, it's almost like a, a yummy roast beef with mashed potatoes. Well, it's like unroasted or like unmalted, like roasted you know, barley, it's, it's got malt in here, but it isn't overwhelming. And what I really like about a stout is, you know, I almost, almost always kind of know what I'm going to get. Let's open it up and see what it, you know, it smells like, it tastes like. Um, you're watching Craft on Tap Show. I'm Nick A. Myers, a.k.a. Nick Furious Styles. And my guest today is none other than Keith Breckenridge, the Keith B. Comedy, the man, the myth, the legend, the bearded, weirded, smeardo. All right, man, make a pour happen. All right, let's make it, man. I've already man, got it. that is that looks like a cup of coffee. It's dark. It's obscure. It's it's like an abstract painting. It's very it's very you know it's like you interpret it. Um, you know what I love? Go ahead, go ahead, Keith. If you have any other thoughts, I mean, what do you think? That's it. You can smell it. It has a very good coffee hint to it. I really really like it. It's a very very um signature stout. Very signature stout smell. And I would agree. I do smell anise. Um, I also smell a nephew and some uncle in there too, but really it's a family sort of oriented scent that I'm getting out of this. Cause it's, you know, it's what's for dinner. Cheers, my man, let's drink because drinking these beers is what makes my mouth happy. Salute. Mm. Wow, oh, man. not at all sweet in the beginning, but then it gives you a little hint of sweetness like midway. And I'm actually getting a lot of like, um, effervescence and sort of sparkle and tickle from the back down as it's kind of going down my throat. Get that? No, no, it's very, very thick and very rich, very malty. I mean, I can see why it was a silver medal winner in 2011. Oh, know? man, you're reading the notes. Beer cup. I wish I had notes. Super boring. No, it's right off the can. But it is, and you know, La Cumbre is very, very much known for their IPA, which is, of course, a big time signature beer these days. But this is a fantastic, uh, of the three, the other two are great, but again, as partial as I am to originally called quarters they're now called stouts they're the same sort of origination they have the same origin story if they were x-men 
yeah, you, it'd be the this same. This is the backstory. They were born the same. But no, there's not a lot of head on this, but the swirl and the way that the ha halos around the, the, uh, the edge of the glass here is beautiful. It really is. You're beautiful, by the way, Keith. I really appreciate you, you stopping through via whatever. What are you using anyway? Zoom Talk, TikTok, um, uh, What's Wap? Yeah, all of that all stuff. Of what is he, Rick and Morty? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there's new episode. Wap it up but, but you know what? Cheers to you, man. And, and cheers to all of our folks watching us, hopefully across the globe. Remember, we have back content uh, always on Tuesdays and Fridays. Uh, each week, we release some new content. We've got some fun things coming up. You know, uh, check us out. Share, share, you know, get, get on the bandwagon. Get on the train, baby. Woo, woo. I'm Nick A. Myers. Thank you so much. Thank you, Keith. Thank you so much again, Craft on Tap Show, for having me on. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Hit me at the Keith B Comedy. Thanks again for having me on the show, guys. Really appreciate you. Have a great one, man. Drink and, responsibly. And stay crafty, my friends. Peace. And we out, without a doubt. This is a great beer. <laughs>